Hi, Gemini. This is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is going to be your 10-day love reading. Well, actually, 7-day now. From July 1st through the 10th for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. You can always listen to your other signs. Uh, you can get more clarity. I find, like, if you listen to your Cancer, but my Cancer... Uh, resonates for me in Venus uh, my cancer is in Venus so when I listen to my cancer um, even though I'm a Virgo um, it resonates more but I will tend to listen to all of them just to get a bigger picture um, so that might be helpful for you but the ultimate messages will come from a personal reading because I'll have all of your information and this is general so with three million views and almost 40,000 subscribers you think of how many people are listening to this message so that's why I always try to push a personal reading if you need it if you're really serious about things then you know you'll request that but um, <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there so if you need to get a personal reading or if you want one all the, the links are in the description box below so you can get them from the Instant Go app or you can just click on the PayPal link. The PayPal links, I will get a video to you, but it can take up to seven days. So it really just depends um, on my booking schedule. The Instant Go app is within 24 hours. You just have to have an iPhone and download it from your iPhone app store in certain areas you have to be. Okay, so you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll upload generals on there too sometimes and other things so let's get your weekly reading out here for you Gemini what are the messages for Gemini for we'll start July 3rd through the 10th Gemini Sun Moon or rising oh real quick so this is my holographic tarot deck that I purchased from Aliexpress if you can't find that website you can just um, Google holographic tarot cards if you're interested, but it's written in Chinese. So if you don't understand that language and you're a new reader, that probably won't help you any. Um, I just got the deck because I thought it was pretty. <laughs> and I know some of you always ask what deck it is. And even though I'm just saying it now, someone won't hear this and they'll comment and ask me what deck it is. So I'm not going to, I don't have it in the description box because I really wouldn't, I don't know if they always have it. So I don't want to mislead you. So just Google it. All right. So let's pull the messages. So the overall energy, the Knight of Pentacles fell out. Okay. Um, and that overall energy is basically like, I, it's a slow moving energy. It can be of someone who makes an offer. But they're just, I don't, I guess you could say kind of sluggish. Um, there could be travel by land as well. Uh, someone who is very reliable. So let's see what the rest of the messages are. The hermit has been showing up in reverse and I do keep shuffling. The Ace of Pentacles. Definitely, look, two offers here coming through. Just want to try to get these so that they're all, so you can see them. Okay, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, sorry, that's up here. Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the hanged man is in the reverse. So let me see what's going on here. Wait, can you see them? I don't know if you've ever tried to line things up in a camera. It's very difficult. <laughs> okay. So some type of an offer is coming in for you this week. It may have already happened. Um, but I'm seeing resistance to ex accepting this offer. I feel like someone's trying to pull you out of something. <laughs> you might be very, very focused and, and just isolated 
or isolating yourself at this time from someone or something with the hermit reverse. The hermit reversed, people think it's, you know, coming out of isolation, but it's actually not. It's actually going deeper into it. Um, and a sense of feeling lonely or a fear of repeating past mistakes. I have a thunderstorm going on outside. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a desire to accept a love offer and to be open to it, but something has you hiding out. I feel like you're hiding out from some something or some offer that's being made. It's like you want it and, and maybe it's that it's not good enough for you. And then it comes back even bigger. So I'm feeling like someone is trying to um, prove themselves to you about how much they care, how much they love you. And they're trying to show you in the most materialistic way, or they're trying to show you in a way that's like, you know, first they show up here with this little pentacle. And then they show up now with an even bigger one. It's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm serious. I mean, this person is really serious and you're, but you're, you know, you're, you're hiding out from it. You're hiding out from offers from people for some reason. Let me just, it may be because some of you are already in a relationship or you're already uh, married. You could be getting an offer to go travel somewhere that could have um, like a love relation of some sort to it, but you're, you're already connected to someone else and you're kind of hiding out from this person. So the sun is here in reverse. They're making a positive, genuine offer to you. I mean, and they're putting it out there. They're not, you know, hiding about this. They want you for something. <laughs> um, so this Ace of Pentacles, again, it, it's the same it's the same message, basically. You know, somebody wants to invest in you. They want to give you more. <sighs> Strangely enough, though, the Six of Pentacles is over top of that reversed. So they're only going to give it to you if you're willing to take it, which I don't see you are willing to take something from somebody. Now the nine of pentacles in the reverse, then she's already dependent on someone. <clears throat> and she doesn't need anything else. Sorry, I just want to fix this really quick. So she may already be, de you, you know, that could be your energy where you're already dependent on another person. Or if you're with someone and they're making an offer to someone else, the other person's rejecting it, which is good for you because that's horrible. I mean, as, as far as like infidelity goes, if, if you're questioning, if your partner is trying to move some, something along with another person, I, I don't see that person accepting it. They're trying to stay away from them. So this Knight of Swords energy in reverse is also telling me that um, the situation is getting out of control or could get out of control. And um, there's a sense of victimhood here as well. You might have, Gemini, someone around you who is kind of stalking a little bit you know you're defending yourself from someone here yeah they're offering love page of pentacles this person is 
going to probably be messaging you this week, telling you how much they love you, they want to take care of you, uh, they want to be with you, but you're withdrawn, severely withdrawn from this person. The Three of Cups. You're sticking close to your family or your friends or people that you that you know. This could be something that happens at a, some type of a celebration this week. Or maybe if you're in the U.S., a 4th of July, uh, that you could... Some of you might get an actual job offer that might have to take you far away. And, and they, this person may be badgering you about this and you may not want it. You may not be able to take it. You're fine. You're like, no, I'm good. I have my own money. I have somebody taking care of me. Oops. Sorry. There's a storm warning. So all these like thunder clashes and these alerts going off while I'm doing your reading, it's very significant to me. There's something playing out here for you, Gemini, that I feel like a lot of you uh, are interested in someone else. And that's probably the person you're listening for, but I don't feel like it's them coming through. You, it's for, for a lot of you, you have someone else who's trying to harp on you or get your attention or be with you, and it's getting a little out of control. And for others, you've been waiting for this person to follow through and make an offer to you, and they, they are trying, but you're, you're avoiding that right now for some reason queen of wands in the reverse some of you are dealing with a leo or the, this is a leo person leo male or female who is um can be known as a bully or someone who's a sexual addict, sex addict, or someone who's weak or can be, you know, narcissistic in some way. And that's probably, it's not that it's probably, I feel like that's why you're avoiding this person if you're single. Um, they're making all these offers to try to, but they're just kind of like harassing you a bit or, you know, and I feel like your your friends or family member, people are telling you, you know, not to accept the offer, but you want to, but you're hiding out because you're not sure what to do about this. What is this Nine of Pentacles reverse? The Nine of Pentacles reversed. Oh. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse now. So... I feel, Gemini, you're a little vulnerable, and it's, you know, that could be why you're retreating so harshly, because you're confused. You may be confused this week about this person's intentions, and you have people around you here, I feel, who are trying to help you with this situation. Part of you wants to accept this offer but the other part of you doesn't because I feel like it's conditional I feel like what they're offering is conditional in other words I'll give you um, I'll pay for a brand new car for, car for you but you have to you know I, I need you to be like under my control that kind of thing and so you might feel like this there's a part of you that's kind of vulnerable to it but then there's a sense where you're, you're just like, you're not sure. You're pulling away from them because they're overbearing. There's a sense of just they're overbearing. And the Eight of Swords here, it causes you to feel victimized is what I was saying. So watch out for victimization this week from a Queen of Wands in reverse, Leo Sagittarius or Aries mainly mostly Leo energy pulling through um, but also it could be a male but it could be any of those signs or just someone who has that energy of being you know um, 
apathetic, angry, have a lot of anger and aggression, sexual problems, uh, non-committal. Yeah, this person's trying to get that whole new love thing going with you. You're not too sure. Because I think that they want that new, they want a new beginning of love with you or they want to start something new, have a baby, get married, do all of that. They're offering their cup of love with the page of want or the page of cups. They're trying to have a new beginning with you. But this hanged man in reverse is kind of like it. There's selfishness involved with this. It's conditional. That's really what's coming through to me. And you're re you're defending it in some way. Like you're defending yourself because you're just something in you is just not sure. It makes you feel victimized in some way. I mean, what you're going to do about this, I don't know, but I feel like that's what their energy is coming through. They could be offering you money to try to get you to, you know, be with them. Like I said, conditional in some way. Some of you have a king of cups that you're dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Now, this person's significant for some, in some way to you. Like I was saying, some of you may already be involved with someone who could be a water sign. <clears throat> or this, you know, this could be a father or brother or someone older. Or someone, it could be a female too. Or it could be um, a female with more masculine tendencies or, or a male with more feminine tendencies. Who You could be calling on to help you in this situation as well. I just want to pull another card for this Queen of Wands in the reverse. What is the energy for the Queen of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. So uh, this person's, I don't feel like this, whoever this person is, the, the energy is there to really not put in the effort. You know, this person, um, I don't feel like they're really focused on what they can give you versus what they can get. That's really what their energy is coming through. Although they will offer you things, they kind of have this energy where they feel like they can just say, they can say anything or offer you anything. The, the bigger the, the bigger the coin, the more enticed you'll be. But their intention is not to have reciprocity. Their intention is to be greedy and to get in return. You know, in, in a sense, I mean, that is reciprocity. They, but they're exchanging for their own gain. With the Six of Pentacles reverse. You know, it's, it's like one-sided. It's selfishness. And, and it's also about struggle. And I do feel like they're, they're going to, dip deep into their pockets to try to uh, get your attention or get get you to go on to their side something with money I don't know who this person could be this could be a family member a mother uh, a lover a friend could be an employer you know anything along those lines but their intention is to you know emotionally take something from you So, I mean, it's not the greatest reading. It's more like, I feel like the past four readings have been more about warnings. And, um, and it probably wouldn't be so much if this hermit card wasn't here in the reverse. Because I feel like when the hermit card is in reverse, this is a card of someone who's like staying away from someone. And if you need to stay away from someone, there's a reason for that. You know, I mean, I, I feel like if this card wasn't here, you know, let's just say for some of you, you managed to turn this card around, but this defensive energy is still here. And the Knight of Swords is still here. 
which is fear and which is defensiveness, you know? So it could be a king of cups that you're defending yourself against. But, you know, I just kind of feel like this week, maybe just need to pay attention to what's going on this week or the, the, this energy, especially if you get a job offer. Like for some of you could get a job offer that pays really well or this person ups the pay but it's done intentionally because maybe they're, you know, they want to have a love relationship with you or they want to be closer. It's kind of like stalking. And you have to be careful of, you know, that energy. Why are they hiring you? Is it based on, you know, your skills? Is it based on your resume? Is it based on, you know, what you're... Or even if someone's trying to... They're, say, you know, they're doing something financial to try to get you in but it's because they're crazy in love with you or they want to be with you. Something along those lines. You know, the way they're going about it. So I'm going to end your reading here. It's kind of strange, but maybe next week it will be better. And um, Gemini, I hope that you were able to get something out of this reading. Okay, so um, I will talk to you guys next week. All right, take care. Bye.